I believe so. Yeah. Salvo, brother, what's up? What the fuck is up, Ethan Ralph? Perspecacity. What's going on, fellas? Well, hey, Salvo. I've been having a fun day today. Just stomping. Very out fun plugs. fucking day, dude. Stream of the year. Usually I'm ho Usually it's me having the stream of the years, Ralph. I've been watching your stream all fucking day. Nobody does it better. Nobody. Uh, <laughs> well, thank you for saying that. I have to say, I've had some inspiring material to work with today, and I, I feel like a lot of pent-up energy because I only got to do one show this week and had so much shit going on. I've been waiting for this opportunity. Why don't you lay it out from your perspective, Salvo? I don't know if we, we went through it the other day, um, but why don't you tell people just what's happened with this entire Kementary community, uh, as I was about to say, scandal, doxing scandal, harassment scandal. Uh -oh. I'm back. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Why don't you lay it out from your perspective? Uh, so you got that Mexican fucking uh, <laughs> Wi-Fi, Ralph. I keep dropping. What the fuck? <laughs> Only when I come on your show. What I was saying is I know these motherfuckers are scared because, you know, I was in that group. They do not like when Ethan Ralph talks about them. They get really, really fucking, like, nervous. So, like, it's been a blast to watch you fucking cream them all day knowing that they're fucking shitting their fucking pants. Dude, What's they, up, fellas? Well, and I appreciate you saying that. And it's funny because, you know, we've talked about him here and there, especially Keem because he's such a rat. Um, and I didn't like what he did to you, honestly, and that kind of activated me a little bit. Uh, but, you know, we talked. I talked about it for a couple of days and, you know, didn't let it go. I see your shirt, by the way. I just now noticed it. Oh, oh. okay, base. <laughs> I didn't know I was wearing it. I didn't know I was wearing it. <laughs> All right. Supremely, That's coincidence. Supremely base. Killstream.live slash shot, by the way. But, um, you know, I talked about him a little bit, but like I don't really think about Keem that much unless he comes up. And then you read these leaks; they talked about me quite a bit. Like I, it does really get them activated more. I guess they know I'm competent uh, at what I'm doing out here, unlike some old bitch who we tried to listen to today. And I, yes, I, well, I don't miserable. know. Miserable. Anyway, lay out what exactly happened from start to finish with all this, and then talk yeah. about this old bitch because I'm so sick of oh. listening to her fucking voice today. I've been fucking yelling about this bitch for two years straight she's fucking crazy okay so let me lay down <laughs> what happened here right so so middle of last year um on some obscure fucking like third twitter account that i had because like i kept getting banned right so like i made this twitter account keen added me to the uh t chat group chat um and i had this account for like one day and then like it was banned right um so obviously you know I joined the Keemstar show, I did the Keemstar show, and then I have a falling out with all these guys at the beginning of the year and um, had no contact with these people all fucking year. Nobody talked to me, I didn't talk to them, uh, no contact at all, right? And then Halloween Eve, October 30th, um, I get to my main band and I get an email that I got another account unbanned, right? And I'm like, Sable Forever. Okay, so I log into Sable Forever, which keep in mind was an account that I had for like a single day. So I log into the Sable Forever account and I go, oh, fuck. I'm still in their fucking group chat. These fucking retards left my fucking banned account in the group chat. So I'm like, holy shit, this is a fucking gold mine. These are my fucking, uh, you know, I worked with Keemstar. I know these fuckers fucking hate me. So think about this chat. Think about, you know, in real life, you have a falling out with your friends and you're kicked out of the group chat, and then all of a sudden you rub like a magical genie and you can see everything <laughs> that they would possibly say about you for an entire fucking year. Crazy. It never happens. Crazy. Beautiful. Um, so I just start screen recording. I start screen recording the entire chat, all of 2023, all of 2022, for like three and a half hours, I'm just screen recording, right? And then, like, once I'm done screen recording two years' worth of conversations, and I'm seeing the craziest shit, bro. And I'm seeing shit that, like, I was yelling about, and people are like, oh, you're just fucking trolling. You know, it's a conspiracy. Oh, Salvo's blackball. It's a conspiracy, right? Oh, it, and no, it's not conspiracy anymore. It's, it's factual, right? So like, when I'm scrolling this fucking group chat, my jaw is floored, but, like, I'm not surprised. My jaw is floored because I'm like, I got these motherfuckers. I got these motherfuckers, right? So I record two years' worth of chats. And then I type into that group message. I go, hey, fellas, long time no talk. Uh, I got all caught up with the group chat. Lots of proof here. And then, like, within 30 seconds, I'm banned. I'm kicked from the group. So, so instantly, my fucking cock is hard. I am so <laughs> fucking excited. <laughs> I'm like, oh, it's fucking go time, like, at this point, right? So for all fucking year, all year, no contact with these people. I knew, I knew that they were talking about me. I, I had a feeling who was responsible for getting my Twitter's accounts 
banned, 15 of them. My two YouTube channels uh, terminated. I, I knew, I knew, I just had no proof of it, right? Um, well, I got it all, you know, and then I reached out to a couple, um, like other people and we started to go through those like fucking shits and man, oh man, they're fucking scared and they can cope and they can laugh and they can try to tweet and stream through it. But I know for a fact in those fucking chats, you know how many times they said, don't talk about Salvo publicly. Don't address Salvo publicly. Don't give them him any attention. Well, now Bo Blacks is talking about it. Xylee's talking about it. Keem's talking about it. They're talking about it now because they're fucking scared. Like, if they weren't scared, and if they didn't actually think that they did anything wrong, they wouldn't talk about it, you know? And they waited a day. Keep in mind, they waited a, a whole day where none of them said anything just to see, like, if they would get traction. And they got traction, and they're fucking scrambling, and they're worried. And as they fucking should be. I mean, Ethan, you saw what was in those fucking chats. They should be really worried. Dude, if there was something like that out there on me, there would be pitchforks and these same motherfuckers <laughs> who tried to ignore it or act like it's no big deal, they would be trying to drive me off Twitter and Rumble and everything else. Uh, and this is all the shit they whine about, all the shit they try to put this false you know, face out there to the public. And in the background, they're trying to get you arrested. They're yeah. doxing your IP. They're doxing your, your wife. They're, they're doing yeah. every fucking piece of dirt that you could fucking imagine short of killing you. And you. then yeah. they're literally talking about killing you in the everything. DMs. Like, it's everything. <laughs> it's everything, dude. I mean, it's yeah. astonishing. And you said it right. They waited a whole day because they're they're scrambling. They're trying to get their story straight. How are we going to say this? What are we going to do that? Uh, and, yeah, the reason they're talking about you is because they're trying to spin. They're not doing a very good job of it. But, no. <laughs> but, but... <laughs> they sent out their fucking weakest little pawn, that old bitch, oh. right? Hey, Xylee, go deflect and take care of this. Uh, meanwhile, Kim doesn't give a fuck if her channel's flagged, terminated, nothing. Nothing. And she's too fucking dumb to realize it. Yeah, but everything was in that group chat. Everything. How can we get several pancakes off of YouTube? How can we get several pancakes off of Twitter? How can we get this motherfucker arrested? Anyone have any ideas? <laughs> Let's bait him. Let's try to paint him as a pedo. It's like, well, like, I can sue him because he sent me a dick pic. You, anything. <laughs> they were, it was a fucking brainstorming session for fucking 11 months straight. How to get me offline. How to get me arrested. And them fucking fantasizing about killing me. It's so absurd. And then at the same time, we see all that come out, and then we're told by the same people, Salvo, he's irrelevant. Salvo Pancakes, he fell off, he's irrelevant. Meanwhile, they're doing all of that. It's, it's really fucking crazy. And, and you said it best, Ralph. If it was your group chat that got leaked, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Dude, they would be calling the FBI, and I'm not even kidding. Like, that's the no. literally what they would be on. You are, you're not kidding. No, I'm not kidding. That's literally what they would be they doing. They literally would be doing, look, yeah. I've seen a lot of shit, been a part of some dirt, like everybody knows, but I've never seen stuff like this. Like, they're literally trying to set up, like, pedo bullshit to get you arrested. <laughs> they're they're doing everything that, can, you, that you could possibly imagine. And you said it a few minutes ago. It's obvious that this was Keem calling the shots from the start. Nobody else has the pull to get your fucking accounts banned that quickly. And, you know, like, I, I don't know if people understand, but Salvo was getting banned within, like, 30 minutes on Twitter. Boom. And this is after they let people back, too. Like, they, you know, they might not give you your old account back, but they're really not. Nick Fuentes, I think, is still on Twitter with his bogus account, right? Like, they're not even throwing people off, but they were throwing you off. What is engendered this hatred uh, toward you? Like, why do you have them so worked up? So it's like, okay, so like what they're going to say is, uh, King Star's uh, thing is, well, hold on, I got a burp here. Anyways, so, anyways. Keem causes Keemstar. a little stomach upset sometimes. It's all it's just natural, <laughs> yeah. but yeah, Keem Star, Keem Star will say, well, Sabo Pancakes backstabbed me. That's going to be his uh, reasoning. Well, no, no, no. Like I was cool with him literally until like hours before he, uh, you know, uh, did some crazy ass like streams on me. So that's completely thrown out. I think... This hatred from Keemstar is because I quit the fucking show. You know what I mean? It's like I quit the show. He couldn't do the show without me, clearly, which is something that we argued on the Keemstar show every episode where I would joke with him. Oh, you, you know, it's like you can't do the show without me. Oh, yes, I can. Well, then I quit. I didn't get fired. I quit the Keemstar show. He tries doing the show with Brantley. Brantley. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. And they are fucking bleeding like fucking viewers. And then. He only does some shows afterwards when he can try to paint me as a crazy uh, sex fiend. So 
you know, I think it comes from a personal side with Keemstar where he was like, well, this dude, you know, uh, uh, he left me. And he has abandonment issues because he had adopted, right? His parents uh, didn't even want him, right? So oh, he has man. this he has this deep-seated abandonment fucking, like, issues inside of him. And, you know, I quit the show because he freaked out that, I, you know, I didn't want to drive in a fucking snowstorm. And then he lost his fucking mind. And then we know Keemstar's fucking history on YouTube when he feels – that someone snaked him, he will do everything possible to fuck that person over. We have 15 years of evidence from it. And then, like, he has his minions, right? He has his uh, fucking, like, minions, which uh, they all have, like, their personal uh, gripe with me. But it's like, I have personal gripes with a lot of people online, and you don't see me talking about them. Like, they talked about me in their group chat, which is fucking crazy here. And they said a whole bunch of crazy things, right? We need to remind everyone. They were doxing me, deplatforming me and flagging me way at the start of the year. Okay. So it's like their justification three, uh, three days ago was like, well, you doxed Kristen Ark. Well, that was like three weeks ago. How about the, the prior 10 and a half months before that, where you're flagging my shit and looking for any little reason to uh, flag and like get me terminated. How about that? Like they don't have a justification for that. Um, which they thought that they did. And then we slow drift all this information and they're such fucking retards. It's like they all had like a definitive, well, here's my opinion after the first day of leaks and then three more days of leaks afterwards uh, that just, you know, completely broke apart their justification in any reasoning, you know? So that's why Xylee has to sit there and bore the fuck out of her audience, which guys, like if you're wondering, like if you tune into Xylee or watch Ethan Ralph cover Xylee today, right? Yes, it was a boring stream, but that was probably by design, but that's probably why they picked Xylee to fucking do it, to bore the fuck out of everyone, because she has no business being behind a fucking mic. She's a lonely woman with no fucking grandkids, no children. She fucking chain smokes in her fucking double wide fucking trailer to a to, to hundred people online and acts like a petty little bitch behind the scenes. She's a fucking loser. Ladies, ladies in the chat, ladies in the audience, there's probably not a lot of them, but there's going to be some. Okay. Every morning when you get ready for your day and you get ready for night, and this is real advice. Do everything in your power to not end up like Xylee gets real. Her life is a complete fucking failure. Think about it. A complete failure. No kin, no friends, except usernames online. She's a fucking, like a bum. She's a straight up fucking bum. And that's who Keemstar has doing his fucking dirty work. What a fall from grace Keemstar is, huh? It's like, look who's in that group chat. Keemstar wants to talk about, wow, I'm Keemstar, Keemstar. Look at your fucking people in that group chat. I mean, it's like they're the fucking bottom of the barrel bums. Like bottom of the barrel fucking like loser, nobody, circle jerk fags. Straight well, up. Dude, that's what I said. You talk about a fall from great. That's literally almost exactly what I said earlier. Wait, wait, this is who Keem's got? This is his soldier out here? Like what What in the world? And, you know, you, you talk about – they were doing it at the beginning of the year, but they, they kept doing it all throughout the year. And you would just come, you know, you weren't, you know, you're popping back up and trying to do a stream, trying to get some shit started. And they just wanted you stamped completely out. And you weren't really talking about from what I remember, uh, but they, they just didn't want you to have a voice uh, in any way whatsoever. Uh, no. And you talked about Buffalo too. I mean, who would want to drive up to, Bu it's like the armpit of the North. Who would want to go to Buffalo? Yeah, it's I literally mean, like the armpit. Yeah, it's disgusting. Of New York. It's yeah, a disgusting I mean, it's, place it's full of disgusting, disgusting people, and it snows a lot there. It's like, the Detroit <laughs> of New York. I mean, that's <laughs> what it is. It's horrible. Literally, the Detroit of New York. Now, what about this Chris the Nart guy? What do you know about oh, him? Because he's man, seemingly bro. obsessed with the Ralph. Oh, Ralph. I am so fucking glad. All year, I've been wanting people to just like know who Chris the Nart is and, and know who Zylie is. Chris the Nart is so fucking retarded. Like, I know that person like IRL. So, like, Ethan Ralph, okay. So picture this guy. We're at the clubs, me and Chris, Saturday nights, like after like a team show at the clubs. And guess what this fucker's doing? He's on like a Discord like call. He's like <laughs> on Discord at the fucking clubs. He's like a total fucking loser nobody. And the only reason why he thinks he's somebody, which he's not, you know, it's like he's literally like a no – nobody knows who the fuck he is. But the only reason why Team Star, you know, the only reason why he's able to like suck Keem's cock is because Keem Star and I were doing the show in Buffalo, and Keem's like, "Fuck, we need a producer who lives in Buffalo." I'm like, "I don't fucking know who lives in fucking Buffalo." And then like I remember this one fucking streamer that was sucking my fucking cock every single day online, and his name is Chris Denark. He streamed like five people. I go, "Ah, there's this dude named Chris." Keem immediately goes, 
I'll call him. So I'm like, okay, call him. And Keem hires him like on the fucking spot. So it's like, that's the only reason Chris has like any notoriety or fucking like anything. And if you watch the Keemstar show, you will know how fucking bad he is at his fucking job. That all set aside, he is like the biggest cocksucker on his fucking knees doing whatever he can to fucking please daddy Keem. It is so disgusting. I mean, we all saw it in those leaks. It is a pathetic way to act as a fucking man. Like, for real. Like, he is, like, a spineless little rat. It's bad. That's, and I, yeah. I never really knew him. Go ahead, Purse Guys. You That's your here. Frankenstein's monster, Salvo. You have a few it of is. them, but he's your greatest yeah. Frankenstein's monster. Complete creation I, of you, yeah. I have it's a few a of those, yeah. <laughs> Now, let me ask you this. How did you get in with Keem in the first place? Um, I, so started off on uh, YouTube 2022 last uh, January, no audience, you know, and then I started to make fun of the commentary people, the same people that I'm making fun of now. People are like, oh, so I will backstab these. No, no, no. I have an audience because I started to make fun of Nick and like Augie, right? right. Um, and then I got some, uh, no, I gained like a big audience uh, for a couple of uh, reasons, but one of the main uh, reasons was when I went to the Deaf Noodles uh, sort of roast, right? And I trended number eight in the United States on Twitter, not trending for you, trending number eight in the United States. And then, like, after that, Keemstar was like, this guy's hilarious. This guy's awesome. So then um, he asked me to do a podcast uh, with him. And that was, like, in October, um, you know. So, you know, and I had a theory last year, which I fucking stood when I said it. I stood by when I uh, said it last year, and I stand by when I say it now. Uh, when I signed up to do the Keemstar show, my channel had no strikes. I made, like, one strike, fully monetize it. And all of a sudden, when I sign up to do the Keemstar show, my channel gets demonetized and I'm that close from getting fucking uh, yanked off YouTube, right? And I'm like, hmm, who, who, who's, dude, and my channel yeah. had like 8,000 subscribers, right? So Real it's like here. small yeah. channel, right, right. So I'm like, I'm like, who is it most advantageous for that? Like, we're like, I now have to focus on something else because I can't make money on my own YouTube channel. And at the time, you know, I raised the question that like, it could have been Keemstar, right? And I stand by. I really think Keemstar went to his rep, you know, and said, boo, 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 boo. check this guy's channel out. Because he knew that, like, I was, you know, towing the line on some quote unquote edgy shit. So all he needs to, li like, literally do is, hey, check this, uh, check this guy's channel out, right? And they manly go in and demonetize me, right? I believe that's what happened. And I believe it even more to this, like, fucking day. So that's kind of how I got involved with uh, Keemstar. Um, and then, like all the rest of the fucking uh, blokes, um, uh, they all hated me before. And then they all liked me when uh, when it became advantageous for them to like me. And then when it didn't become advantageous for them to like me anymore, they don't like me. So it's like that's kind of what happened here. Well, you know, I talked about that. Of course, I, you know, I don't want to act like I'm Nostradamus or whatever, but I can kind of see. I've seen Keem do this before. I don't blame you for taking the opportunity because it's like, oh, it's Keemstar here, and he, you know, he wants me to host this show with him, and I can blow up, and you know, here's this. You know the brass ring. I'm about to grab it. Um, but from my perspective, of course, I know what a dirty bastard Keem is already. But <laughs> it was clear that he was trying to leech your star power. You know what I mean? Yeah. He was trying to leech your charisma. <laughs> so w when you're from the outside and you don't know what's going on, maybe you're like, "Oh, Keem's giving this guy a hand, and you know he's trying to promote." This. That's not what was happening at all. Keem was no. trying to. He saw you going like this, like a rocket ship. Yeah. Let me latch onto this guy, steal his aura, steal his energy, and make my own money off it. Because that's all he's good at. He sucks as an entertainer. He's a really good gossip monger. He's a really good snake, and he's a really excellent leech. Uh, and so he saw yes. you on the rocket ship, and he's like, "Hey, let me get some of that." And if you ever watch any of those shows, Keem sucks. Keem is just yeah. the name. Like, you're the real entertainment on the show. And as soon as you left, it was shoo, down the drain. Uh, dumb bitch Brantley. I mean, enough said, right? Like, that can't happen. Enough, enough fucking said. <laughs> so it's like, he got real nervous when, like, the first stream and then the second stream and the third stream and the fourth stream and, and all the streams, people were there for me. They're, sure. you know, my audience. They were my audience. They were pancake emojis, like, in chat. And he realized that. You know, and he's got a very fragile ego because past trauma, he is adopted, right? So he has this, like, very fragile, like, ego. So he's always been, you know, fragile. And, yeah, no, like, you're 1,000% correct. Like, like he sucks at a live format. That's why he doesn't do live shows anymore. That's why he never did, like, a live show before me, you know, and that's why he stopped the Keemstar show after 
I laugh. So I would agree with that. I think everyone who watched the Keemstar show would, would also agree with that for sure. Yeah, I mean, he's terrible live. Like, I mean, you know, if he can record something or edit out bits and, you know, even the podcast he did before, they're all recorded. Uh, yeah. And it's a different right. animal when you're out here live, Perspicacity. I mean. Uh, it is. It's a completely different animal than edited content <laughs> so, where you're putting together the things and you could do retakes and you yeah. could do the whole thing. It's way easier. Uh, it's yeah. more work intensive, but it's way easier to present like a, a really good product instead of just doing it live you're just doing it off the cuff you got one go and that's it it's totally you different it animal like you I, I like some stuff that's recorded i'm not down on anybody that does that format um but it's totally different uh when you're out there live and it's like hey something ain't working or you thought this was gonna work and it's not let's change course how are they reacting to this what story's popping up here let's jump on that uh and it's it's a it's a totally different animal um now what about let's go through some of these other characters in the group chat uh first off yeah. nicholas diorio how do you think he handled himself uh did he cover himself in glory or was it something else? <laughs> glory. Based on what? Like just like what he said in the group chat. I know Keem was trying to get him to sue you. Uh, now, I yeah. don't think he did do yeah. that. To, to well, tell us, credit, what's the worst thing you ever did to Diorio to get him piss, as pissed off as he was? I think Diorio didn't like me from the get-go because I was making fun of him from the get-go, right? Um, you know... And like personal gripes, like Augie doesn't like me because like I made fun of his mom, <laughs> right? Yeah. Um, uh, Diorio doesn't like me just because like I just made fun of him, you know? And people say, I've heard people say this, they go, Nicholas doesn't like Salvo because Salvo is the only person that is, you know, just as good as Nick, but more charisma, more attractive, you know? <laughs> and like Nick doesn't like, like that, he's intimidated by that. That's what I've heard. Um, uh, but it's like, yeah, no, he, uh, he was, the boys in him were brainstorming if they could arrest me because I sent him a dick pic in the email. <laughs> I, mean, <there's, laughs> I mean, just like straight up, just like sending like Nicholas Diorio like a fucking like hard dick pic is will always be like funny to me, right? It's just, it's and, like, it's, legendary in a and, like, it, <laughs> and like it's even more funny to go see in the fucking group chat that he's so pissed about it, he's trying to fucking sue me. And then like he's also like such a fucking like dork. Um, like, uh, like one of his like stupid like little uh, videos he made about Crater Clash, right? He put like all this like work into it, and I just like record like a two minute uh, video <laughs> on Creator Clash, and I just I steal his thumbnail and his tags, right? <laughs> hoping <laughs> hoping that like he just gets like pissed about it, right? And I see in the group chat he's like he stole all my metadata, and Keemstar is like flag him. He stole your metadata. You can flag him for that. I'm like you guys are so gay. Like you guys are so lame. Well, I so didn't even like, know that was a thing. Yeah. And, and Keem's like, yeah, that's against the toss. And uh, you can report him. I'm like, what the fuck? This guy knows every like, fucking dirty trick in the about? book. Yeah. Like, I didn't even know that. Like, what the hell? He's yeah. got he's got more tricks up his sleeves about, you know, Jewish, like, YouTube fucking TOS than, like, Ethan Klein, this guy that, like, he fucking hates. For real. He For really fucking does. real. I'm like, wait, yeah. I didn't know that was a violation. He's like, yeah, you can't steal metadata. He's like, you can't use the exact same thumbnail. And I'm like, wait, is that really a thing? <laughs> well, because, you know, is. Kima's done all this shit himself. That's why he knows how to do it. That's why he's talking about ban yeah. evasion, all this different stuff. Because Kima has been doing all that shit for years. He's got it game down. He knows every fucking trick. Now, what about so Augie? Weird. Yeah. Wait, what about Augie? Augie? So what did you say about his mom? Because I don't remember. Um, yeah. And I know he, he hates you. Like, I read some of those leaks. He, and he fucking he, hates me. He wanted yeah, he to kill you, me. literally. Yeah. He wants to kill me, Augie. <laughs> yeah, literally. And I literally, I literally got, like, a protective order, like, against this guy. Because, like, we're neighbors. He lives, like, really close to me. Right? Oh, and, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So I got a protective order. So it's like Augie hates me because this motherfucker, we were cool at the time. Cool. And then he posts a picture of his mom and him on vacation at the Grand Canyon. And I make like two YouTube shorts where like, oh, Augie and his mom are like at the Grand Canyon. And I talk about how they probably share clothes. And then I say something like I'm going to push his mom down the Grand Canyon or something. <laughs> and he gets really fucking mad. He gets really mad. And he calls me up in private. and He goes, don't talk about my mom. I go, OK, fine. And then like on my next live show, I print out a fucking like like six by five picture of his mom and i have it behind me on my live show and i start to like hump it and i start to like fuck the image of his mom i think he didn't take yeah. that too well no he did not take it too well he, he called me up after he goes if i 
could fucking kill you and shoot you. I would. And like, I didn't talk to him since. And then like a year later, he's still really passionate about wanting to kill me, you know, about like, like, how could I justify murdering him? It's like, listen, dude, please don't murder me. It's like, try to flag me. Don't kill me. So it's like, okay. Like I see that. It's like, I don't want this on uh, my neighbor to have fucking guns. So I went to Texas and I got a protective order against him. I'm like, I don't want to die. You know, it's like we can fight fair, but like I don't want to die. I don't want to die. <laughs> now, is Texas like other states? Do they take? Not that I know anything about restraining orders or anything like that. But how do they? I'm a felon anyway, so they never did that to me. But do they take your guns away? Like, does that happen in Texas? I don't know. Some states they you have to. I think they do. Wow. I think they do. I, I think they do. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. a violation. If you make a violation, yeah, they will take. No, you but can't if be you just, threatening like that. Yeah, if you just have a restraining order, a lot of states will make you submit your guns until it's like taken care of or whatever again not well yeah a uh, permanent one yeah but uh i see here's a question from cinemas says can salvo explain who parking tigers is yeah could you explain no that? he's a chatter <laughs> he's a fucking chatter uh parking tigers was a guy who uh who uh did all my work for me uh dude, well, like <laughs> i my told you that was a bad idea so. oh i know he was like one of my bitch boys uh, last year that i go watch this video. I need all the time codes in an hour. He goes, yes, Salvo. Right. And <laughs> then, uh, no, for real. And then like the girl that he liked, liked me. Right. So, oh. so it was him and a few others that were like doing like my dirty work. Right. Yeah. And this girl who he liked was one of the other girls and she was obsessed with me and he found out. So he was the guy that spearheaded like all those lies about like all these like sex and like these pervy, like little kinks. Cause he was jealous that the girl that oh. he liked, liked me and not him how was fucking that, petty was that the girl that you made put her head in the toilet no his, no his fantasy no. girl put her head in the toilet no for you? No, no but did she his piss girl, on herself no no his that girl did pee one. though his girl did pee he likes to oh, like leave that pee. out what? his girlfriend now did pee for me yes oh she did okay she did yeah she did that means she'll do anything for you <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> she loved me she thought she was gonna move to the united states for me i go bitch I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Like, if this is a shock for you, it's, I don't really like you. Look at all these girls that I was doing the same thing with. <laughs> Fucking retard. <laughs> Dumb bitch. Many such cases. Uh, <laughs> many such cases. I, I see Ada Wolf uh, mentioning that he still has the short. Yeah. You know, I've watched that. I thought it was funny. I mean, obviously you weren't going to push. And again, I don't have a personal beef with, with Augie. We squashed all that, but uh, you know, <laughs> I thought it was funny, right? Like you obviously weren't gonna push his mom down the fucking Grand no. Canyon, uh, no. right? Like I, I don't know. Uh, and they had no problem with you. You know, you went hard on Flamenco and some of these other people, and they're like, "Oh, Salvo's, he's just being funny and this and that." Well, but when you just I'm turn sure a little Augie's bit on pissed him, about that. I'm sure Augie is pissed that he went after Fagmenko because Salvo really did like. Flamenco, they were buddies. On yeah. fire. They were, they were fucking good buddies. buddies. Yeah, dude. I'm here's sure the thing. Pissed. We can remind everybody, Augie went on vacation and was cool with Flamenco after all the fucking allegations came out against him. Like, he knew all this and still had him on the streams, was still saying he was a good guy, and only stopped being friends with Flamenco when I embarrassed Flamenco, right? And his whole chat turned against Flamenco. Augie was the last person to turn on Flamenco. So let's, let's not act like, you know, Augie was like, you know, on the front lines to fucking take down Flamenco. He went on vacation. He still platformed him. He's still cool with him literally until he had no fucking choice. Well, dude, People me and you, that. and it was, I'll, I'll give you even more credit than me, but I was hammering that fuck every single day almost. And those big leaks and all this stuff and, the, you know, the, the whatever that was, the Shotokan and all this shit. Uh, and we were just hammering this guy every single day. And you still see him pop up on uh, RFC after hours. You still see all these motherfuckers hanging out with him. And they only turned like right at the last bit there to, and they turned hard uh, when they turned and they went hard on him, but it was like, okay, this is for show really. Right. Uh, yeah. In my right. Opinion. They didn't and really so, have a choice. I wonder what Flamenco thinks about no. those. But anyway, go ahead. Sorry. It, it, um, I know Flamenco has been fucking uh, messaging uh, like Aiden projects being like, ah, look, all your buddies are flaggets now. So it's like, he's doing like his little like victory <laughs> lap, uh, like on them, um, you know, and stuff, but it's like, Flamenco, you're a pedophile, though. <laughs> yeah, like, right. You're There's a pedophile. No coming back for you, bro. Now, There's wait no a minute, back, Flamenco. Right, don't right, forget you're a pedophile. Look, okay. Yeah. Uh... It's like, you're a pedophile. Okay, they flagged. It's... There's a difference. <laughs> 
the, their behavior not good, but you're a pedophile, so we have to put that in a separate worst category, actually. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Now, what about Big Tip? Sure. You know, I was, I was trying to get Big Tip on here uh, tonight. I don't know if we can make that happen. We have a few contacts with him, and I, I don't know if he's around, but we, we were trying to bury the hatchet with Tipster. I think I he should come on. He doesn't like me. He won't come on uh, with me, but he should definitely come on. So what's his what? problem with you? Okay, so here's the thing, dude. Uh, <laughs> I started to make fun of Tipster. Like, I was making fun of all these people. But, like, the shit that, like, I was saying wasn't even, like, what uh, – Okay, so there's a big difference of how they, cru- how they crucified Tipster, right, uh, this year by, like, trying to paint him in a serious manner as, like, a pedophile, right? All I was doing was just, like, making – uh, jokes about him and like his disabled wife right and at the time when i was doing that all of the people that eventually turned on him because it was uh it was trendy you know like it was trendy to turn on tipster this year all those people were like well you can't be saying that about tipster right and then so it's like i'm trashing tipster for months and months and months and then somewhere going on was like a competition and somewhere on this poll whoever and the poll was between uh two girls right and whatever girl won on the poll, they would show their tits. So as I'm making fun of him and his <laughs> – as I'm making fun <laughs> of him and his fucking wife, and he's bitching about it for so long to me online, as I'm doing that, he calls in. And I think that he's going to confront me as, like, stop talking about my wife. He comes in and goes, Salvo. I go, yo, dude. He goes, how much money can I give you to promote – one of the girls running in this poll, so like she'll show her tits. I go, wait a minute. I go, <laughs> I go, I go, you cannot be mad at me for fucking months for making fun of your wife and say that you're, you know, fucking around on your disabled wife and stuff, and then come on my show and then tell me to promote a girl so you can see her tits, right? So then, like, kind at that point, though, isn't it? Like, I mean, it's <laughs> <certain way. laughs> So they're like, at that point, Tipster goes like fucking like nuts on me, right? And I haven't talked to him since. And then, you know, this year, um, which they were trying to do, it's like Augie and Diorio and all of them trashed Tipster privately for like years and years and years. You know, and I tried telling him uh, that too, but, you know, he's he's slow. So it's like uh, when it came out this year, and Xylee was his good friend, and Kristen Ark was his good friend, and they were so mad at me, right? And then, like, all of a sudden, you know, Dorio and Augie and Keem start to trash uh, Tipster. Well, the minions fall in line, right? Here's Ailey. Here's Chris. They fucking fall in line, and they fucking trash Tipster, too. And then I go, well, 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 well. Okay, so it's like you weren't so friendly with Tipster then. You were just kind of falling in line on, on, on what good boys and good girls should do to kind of be with the in crowd. So it's See, like, it's, it's all hypocritical, man. That's why I don't like the whole commentary, commentary, commentary community, because they're so fake. Uh, and it's so clear that they sit around in these, of course we have the evidence now, but they, they sit around in these group chats and they, they talk shit about everybody, even people that they're supposed to be cool with. Uh, and then when it's the season, when it's trendy, like you said, when the new fashion hits, then they turn on them viciously and they clearly never liked the person in the first place. Uh, and they yeah. go with such vigor, like, you know, they talked about me a lot. They talked about you more than anybody, but the, the other person they talked about the most was Tipster. Uh, yeah. And I'm sitting here thinking, what is he? Like, I mean, it's just, there's some stuff to make fun of for sure, but like, what, oh, yeah. is he really like the scourge of the earth? Like, I, I it's don't It's just know. easy. Yeah. It's easy to make fun of Tipster because everyone else is doing it, right? So it's just like an easy target where they don't have to like really like think or like ruffle like anybody else's feathers because this guy is like already being like shit on so it's like you know it's just like lazy things and it's like okay guys if you're not yeah it's very low-hanging fruit it's like what you guys are just gonna make fun of tipster for like the same things over and over and over again which is fine but it's just it's low-hanging fruit it's just lazy when they do that all the time, you talked about last time or time before last, you were on, we were talking about the Jalen uh, person. Uh, I saw them yeah. in Xylee's chat, actually. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, they did 100 videos or more on this on this person, what? and it's like, <laughs> who even cares? Like, I, right, right, I, who fucking cares? It's just, it's all regurgitated slop. Uh, and, and like, know, we see that, though. That's proven, yes. Like, it's regurgitated slop because team fucking right. orchestrates like what they're going to talk about and like what they can't talk about like it's all like in that fucking uh, group it's chat. all in keem's script yeah it's all in keem's like fucking script it's like they all fucking like fall like in line like there's a couple of times willie mac i call him willie hack now because <laughs> he's a spot because he's 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 another spineless fucking like bozo who like i was friendly with like we texted uh, like normal people 
And like I did like nothing to him, but you know, he's he's falling in line like a good soldier so he can get 80,000 views on like a video. It's like, okay. Um, what the fuck was I saying about uh, Willie Mac and Jalen? What was my point? What was your oh, question? Oh, regurgitated what I content. We were regurgitated about- content. Right, 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 right. Yeah, so it's like, he will be like, uh, and a couple of times like in that group chat, uh, Willie goes, I like Sevo. He's kind of funny. And they all <laughs> jump down his fucking throat. They all jumped down his throat, right? And then like they force Willie within like 10 minutes to be like, yeah, but you know, you guys are kind of right about him. You know, he's kind of like a DJ and like doxing, you know, into platforming, right? It's like, okay, right? And they keep in mind, the biggest leaks in that group chat is like the open deplatforming, the open doxing, which is like, you know, me and you, Ralph, we've all done that, right? It's like we've doxed. Sure. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, uh-huh. I've done it justifiably because I really hated this guy. Um, Same. So, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> but we admit it, okay? So it's like these guys want to like moral high ground on like how bad it is, right? Like their whole fucking careers. Like you don't dox, you don't flag, you don't do platform. And like we, I catch them doing it like, 20 fucking times right so it's like it's it's hypocritical all the way around and i really think that's like part of the reason that they're actually having to talk about it now because it's like it's hard to defend what they fucking were caught doing and keep in mind by the grace of fucking god by the sways of the universe the truth was un fucking uh, revealed okay because i've been yelling about this people have been yelling about this right uh, but it's like we can be right, but just like have no proof, and to have all the fucking proof there just like vindicates everything that, that I've been saying, and vindicates what a lot of people thought. Right? It's all yeah. fucking there, man. It's all there. Like it's all there, proof. And Zylie's like so fucking retarded, right? It's like she's going fucking through it and just again just showing an audience that wouldn't have seen it, you know, the proof there, and you know, giving her opinion on it. So it's like they thought it was an own. They thought like, well, let's leak the fucking group chat before Salvo Pancakes uh, can. But it's like one, people are more interested in just hearing what I have to say sure. about it, not really specifically what's in the group chat, right? And then now you're showing your hands, you're showing the full uh, group chat, and then also giving me your opinion on it, Zaylee. So it's like you're showing your hand and then like telling me what you're thinking at the same time. So it's like, it, it's, it's baffling. It's like, it's so fucking retarded. But, like that's what they were going to do. Cause like now I hear her excuse and I hear her justification and it's like, well, I know what you're going to say and I can prove everything that you're saying is, is it's wrong. It's stupid so on it's every like, level. What play do you got? It's yeah. stupid on every level. Cause it gives it more attention for one. Uh, it shows people who may not have known about it. Uh, for another right. uh it also verifies the leaks if there was any deniability or maybe he doctored this or yeah. i mean there's always you can just lie what i mean i'm just being honest right uh and yeah. once you're out there showing it well you can't lie anymore uh and she's just a dumb bitch too that's the well thing, it is like. retarded because it's proving the leak because people they could say oh those are all doctored leaks yeah. it's not that hard to fake like a twitter group chat but she's confirming it's all entirely real as she pulls it up from her own Twitter or you account. can say some some sense. of that's true, but this image here was doctor or whatever. Like, right. You know what I mean? You can yeah. kind of split the baby there. Uh, and now you can't. And I don't know why they did that at all other than to try to take the wind out of your sails, and that didn't work. And it you didn't work. Some, right. right. And you cannot fucking work. Well, you know, we got six, seven hundred people here, almost seven hundred watching you live and shit spike. People want to talk about this. People want to hear about this. And the strategy was just a complete failure and then you have somebody your buddy andy worski is going to cover it too i heard andy worski oh really well too. he's been sweeping I for them for the andy longest Worski. i know, I, know. Yeah. I i heard i heard that andy worski is going to cover this and he should well goodbye keem Everybody contact should. if he does that <laughs> oh, well, he's already got brain damage bro there's no <laughs> yeah, more well, keem contract well, for andy. well here's like another thing right zyli doing that and like intentionally like like quickly skipping over like where they dox people it's like okay so like you're acknowledging that like you're like like trying to hide like information that like we have like also proves that like you were aware that something was bad in there right like when you like you know because there's like a few times it's like nicholas giorgio asked someone for information about someone like in my life awesome. and keemstar gives it to fucking her or him or her maybe right um and like she doesn't like want to show that well it's like why don't you want to show that like, why are you trying to hide that? Like, why do you have to censor it in your live stream? Because it's a dox, right? Because like you're doxing. So it's like, they're just, it was such a fumble. It was such a fucking fumble. Like, 
like such an idiotic move. It's like Xylee doing that, trending on the fucking like H three fucking like subreddit, right? It's it was like it was such a fucking self owned by them, and that just proves it's like it's like Keem and company are 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 dumb. They're like really like fucking dumb people. He's not as smart as he thinks he is. Let's put it that way. No. And, and this stuff, you know, maybe it would have peaked out, but a lot of these people like the H3 subreddit and some of these others might not have heard about it, uh, right? Like if it had stayed yeah. in the sector level and some, some people don't get down into the muck where I live, right? Yeah. Uh, and it has to go up a little bit or hit one of these drama channels like this dumb bitch, or, you know, or they wouldn't see it uh, otherwise. Yeah. As far as I'm concerned, I hope everybody runs with it. I, you know, I don't care. If I time, fucking but, hope so. Yeah, but well, yeah, uh, no, I now I do. Like, I mean, I, compared to Kame, I mean, who's worse? Right? Like, I, I don't know. It's a tough question, but, I mean, I probably have to say at, at this point, Kame is worse. I, I know that probably pissed him off more than anything, but, you know. I, 100%. 100%. Yeah. Yes, and now, he's worse he, than Ethan Klein. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and now it's clear why they wanted to get rid of Salvo so bad, because if this ever came to light, it would be really bad. So they just wanted you to leave the internet, and then it would never come up again. You know of what I mean? Of course, but, like, think about this. How ironic is this, right? Their whole plan in the group chat was to like smother my name online, right? Uh, it's like a gag order me, try to shut down all my accounts, make sure nobody covers it, make sure nobody talks about it online, right? Okay, that was their mission. Well, because they couldn't fucking keep my name out of their mouth in private, in their group chat, right? And be so obsessive with how much they don't want me online that like ended up being like why they're in this much fucking trouble. They're like, nobody talk about Sabo, nobody give him any attention and he's gonna die out. And meanwhile, all fucking year, they're giving me all this attention in private. And that like ended up being like why they're in this like fucking mess. So it's like, they're, they don't even have that like self-awareness to like, okay, like if you truly don't wanna talk about me, don't talk about me, but you talk about me all year. And by the grace of God, the truth always, the truth always comes out. It's always fucking, Shown always the truth is powerful, it's the most powerful thing in the universe. It always comes out, okay? So well, it's ironic, it's, it's very so ironic. ironic. And if they just let it go, this wouldn't be happening. <laughs> if they let it go, right? Even if they left my account in the group chat and I went through it and they truly just let it go, there would have been nothing in there and I wouldn't have like leaked anything, right? Right, but they couldn't let it go because they're fucking obsessed with a passion and it's like all fucking year, right? So it's like. The things that the things that like I would do on Twitter and YouTube, I would do because like I would know that like it would like piss them off. For example, stealing Nicholas Joro's metadata, you know, is one. Um, <laughs> you know, there's probably like like 50 more where I'm doing it in the hopes like it pisses them off and to have like vindication, like months after doing it, that they were really mad about it. Oh my god, it feels so good. It feels amazing to know that the stuff that I was doing to piss them off is working. You know what I mean? It, it feels great. Now, and it, it has been working. And you're really good at getting other people's skin, I'll say. <laughs> but specifically theirs, uh, what did you think about uh, – there was a section in there. I guess it was Chris the, the narc, quote-unquote. What a weird name, by the way. Uh, no, like I, he's literally a narc. Like it's perfect. What? Like he's literally a narc. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's a point where he goes, hey, uh, Daddy Keem, uh, you know, Salvo's still in here, and uh, maybe you want to clear him out. And then Keem, because he had, doesn't respect any of these people, obviously, <laughs> yeah, obviously, and barely even pays attention to what they say, and he's more worried about what he wants to get across. He just totally no-sells it, to use a wrestling term, totally ignores it, and then says, hey, you better be here at 1 p.m. <laughs> he's, like, giving orders, and if he'd, uh, if he'd have listened to that, this never happens. It's like... That screenshot is like sums up exactly what it is. One, Chris, he doesn't respect you. He thinks you're a fucking joke. That's like part of the reason why you're in there, right? He likes to have people that like, like he can show no respect to, but they'll just like always stand on their like fucking knees, right, Chris? And like, of course, Keemstar is more worried about getting on the boat and drinking. Like that's on his mind. It's like, you better get here so we can fucking get drunk and fucking drink. And just completely disregarding, like, Chris. What it's like, Chris, advice. he thinks you're a fucking joke. It was, it was yeah. good advice. Yeah. It was good advice. <laughs> it was great advice. But you know yeah. what I interpreted it as? I think, he was I think he was confident. He was so confident that you would not possibly be unbanned, that he had wiped you out completely, that he just didn't even care. 
Yeah. He was just, yeah. it was like a show of confidence to keep you in. Yeah. There. That's how that, confident I think he it, was. I think you're mm-hmm. right too, but it's like, man, just take him out of the group chat. Like, uh, it's a very, make any sense. <laughs> yeah. make it's, a bu- sense. It's, a, it's a single button. And there was more times where he was like warned of that. Right. Oh, really? So it's like, that was like in the summer, right? There was one time 10 days ago. 10 it's got to be on days purpose. Ago, that he kept you in there something like some some psychological connection that he still wants with me or something right 10 yeah. fucking days ago Zylie says oh by the way keemstar a lot of accounts are being unsuspended <laughs> salvo still has one in here blows it off doesn't even I'll respond to it ten, 10 days ago 10 days ago now let me ask you oh, this what about your interactions with keemstar after it leaked because I, I saw you put out some texts uh between you two how did that go and, and what all was said yeah so um so all the leaks come out. I don't hear uh, from anybody uh, that day. I go on Lyrics' stream where they're, where I got them to admit that, well, we can flag you because you dox Chris. Okay, well, that puts them like in the fucking corner, and they can't justify all the uh, rest of them so before I dox Chris, right? Okay. Well, Diorio joined that call, and uh, Diorio and I uh, chit-chat for like mm-hmm. two minutes after, and the first thing he says to me, he goes, because you're probably recording. I'm like, well, I'm not. <laughs> um, and like, I don't really care if you say that. Funny move. This is their cope. Funny move. I'm recording the group chat. By the way, Keemstar called me right after he realized that like you were in there yelling and screaming to him saying, we're fucked, we're fucked, we're fucked, we're fucked. Okay, so Diorio tells me that. Uh-huh. The next day, when the other leaks start to come out more, I get a text. And it's the first time I talk to Keemstar this year. I'm like, oh, this motherfucker's texting me. He must be worried, right? So we text for a little bit. And I'm going to go over the text uh, tomorrow, sure, Sunday. Sure. What time? Kick.com. Um, I'm thinking probably around 8 central. 8 central time. Um, kick.com slash several pancakes. But he texts me. Uh, here. I'll read off some of it. Yeah, save some for your show. And that was really why I got you on yeah, to promote no, no. your show tomorrow. But yeah, if yeah. you could give us some of that, because I saw some on Twitter. And I, the first thing I thought was what you said. I was like, oh, he must be worried. Uh, that's the only reason why he would do that. That's the only reason he would do that, period. Because he's trying to blackball you and ruin you and have you arrested yeah, yeah. and set up yeah, as a yeah, pedophile. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, okay. So it starts off. Uh, geez, you texted a lot. Oh, okay. No, okay. So here we go. Okay, so like I was texting him, uh, like every t- well, like a few times where like, so, like I made like a meme video where like um, I montage like some clips together uh, from the Keemstar show, and I just like I texted to him, uh, like as a meme. Um, so he texts me kind of like in response to that video, and he goes, "I wonder what went wrong and why." I'm like, okay. So it's the first text he uh, sends me. I wonder what went wrong a while. Okay. So like we go back and forth and then like after like 10 minutes of texting, he calls me and he goes, dude, by the way, hilarious. Good move on uh, recording the group chat. I'm like, well, that's not what I heard. I heard that you called Nick freaking out, buddy. Um, okay. So it's like, we had like a long text back and forth and he's being very cordial. He's being very cordial. trying to sweet talk me. Sabo, you have so much potential. You're the funniest, most entertaining person like on YouTube. Just talk about something else. And I go, Keemstar, I have no platform to do anything. You have fucking banned me off everything. Like, what do you mean do something else? Like, there's a reason I can't do anything. It's because of you, right? So it's like we have that back and forth. Right? He gets very nervous when I mention that my lawyers and I talked that I have oh. a Ooh. easy shut in case a defamation lawsuit. He calls me again, right? Um, basically, basically, the conversation started off cordial where he's – you know, kind of tell me to move on. And then like, he knows like, I'm not budging. Right. And then I bring up the lawsuit and it gets like a little more heated and I'm not budging. So then he starts to like threaten me. Right. He's like, you know, he blatantly tells me that he's flagging my Twitter for uh, banditating, even though like it's my main that got like restored. He's like openly like admitting that he is flagging like all my stuff because I'm breaking TOS and it's war and it's war and I'm breaking TOS. And I go, well, Keemstar, like if it's war, like let's have, you know, like a war. He goes, no, you're a nobody. I'm not going to give you any attention. So I'm like, okay, so it's not <laughs> war then. You're kind of just flagging me behind the fucking scenes. He's like, yeah, because it's war. And I'm like, okay. Um, and then he, uh, sends me this weird threat and then blocks my number. He goes, good luck. You're going to need it. I'm like, Ooh, okay. Um, so yeah, so that's the conversation I had with him. 
And again, he reached out because he's he, he he you know he's upset, like he's worried about it clearly because there is no there's zero defense. Up I'd be anyways. nervous. I'd be real nervous. Something well, like that. He should be nervous, but here that guy's attention because uh, he got some money to lose. Hey, exactly. Yeah, he's, he's got, got a lot of money, money to lose. lose. He's got a lot of money to lose. And think about it. Think about it. I know defamation lawsuits are fucking hard. Okay, but let's just like yeah, I know level. about that too. But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Per- personal reputation slandered. Can you start knowingly, knowingly telling lies. Personal reputation slandered. Professional reputation slandered. Personal damages, yes. Professional damages, yes. Knowing that he's telling lies. It's like, okay, that's... Well, and you haven't even touched on, they talk about coaching that bitch to say all kinds of things about you, coaching her. Yeah. And saying have, she won't cooperate with the coaching. Yeah, yeah bring she that up. Because yeah. Percy Cassidy yeah, hit yeah. on that earlier. Tell us about that from your perspective. It's crazy. We've been on here for an hour, and we haven't even talked about, like, the most egregious fucking shit that's ever. Yeah, so that's just the most scumbag shit I've ever disgusting. seen in my life. It's disgusting. And, like, this actually gets me, like, fired up to be, like, angry, right? Because they smeared me, all of them in that fucking group chat, smeared me as a fucking rapist and they go well we never said rapist okay sexual assaulter okay faggot it's fine okay so so that chick babs right like everyone knows the whole fucking story right um well do they wait the tell us the story because i don't know if they do know the whole story if okay, you want well, to if you want to you don't have yeah to. a high level i i mean like everyone i like it's public uh, so let me, you know, sure. okay so this girl was a fan of another YouTuber. Me and that YouTuber go up to uh, Keemstar's house. Uh, we, I engage with consensual sex with an adult woman in Keemstar's bed. Um, it was a night <laughs> after the Keem- <laughs> It was a night after the Keemstar show, and we're on drinking all day, drugs, um, all fucked up, um, and we engage in consensual sex in Keemstar's bed. Um, and then we drive back to Ohio and she leaves and the YouTuber that um, she came with, they go to her house and uh, that's the last I hear of it until I found out that she goes on vacation with Brantley and Team Star a couple weeks later. And then from that <laughs> point, and then from that point, I start hearing that I could be in trouble. I go, you know, and I hear that and I go, for what? Like, for what? Like, I'm not even like fucking like worried about it. I'm talking about for what? Um, so Keemstar has her on the stream after he did the stream where all the fucking e horse came out and said, well, I have a story. I can sexually sex it with him. And the Keemstar was like, well, did he pressure you to send him nudes? And they're like, no. And he goes, well, he did it with all these women. How does that make you feel? And she goes, well, I thought I was the only girl. I'm like, okay, bitch, you didn't ask. Um, so, <laughs> so that didn't really stick. So then he has this girl on who he's been fucking with his girlfriend to come on and smear me and this other YouTuber as sexual assaulters, right? So, so that stream happens and me knowing the whole truth and the other YouTuber knowing the whole truth, they go, what the fuck is going on? Like all lies and all came out as lies. Like no one ended up believing this fucking bitch after so many fucking months. It was such a mess, right? But in the group chats, we're, we, I caught Kingstar coaching up this girl on what to say, on what not to say, on, on where to go on, I, you know, don't drink because like, you need to say this, you need to act like this. And that girl was such a fucking retard and such an alcoholic and brainlet, she would go on every stream and just fucking run her mouth, and, you know, and she would fucking, um, you know, just like tell a lie, which like uh, disproved what she was saying. You know, she was just like spinning herself into like a web of lies where everyone's like, ah, uh, I don't know if you believe, you know, it's like, mm, we don't believe you, bitch. Behind the scenes, Keemstar is fucking pissed off at her because she's ruining his, like, fucking whole fucking sexual assault story. And we have it. He's, like, texting his fucking cronies. This bitch is a slut. She's a skank. She's blowing everything. Blah, 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 blah. It's like, wait a minute. Is it about winning? Like, is it about, like, 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 like making sure that her stories are right and making sure that, like, the truth is out there right or is it about making sure that she doesn't reveal how retarded she is to make salvo pancakes take a w and that was all in the fucking group chats right and that's the most like egregious like fucking thing it's like i knew it was all fucking lies people that had knew uh, that like it was all fucking lies it was like so fucking annoying to like deal with the whole fucking time and obviously what i fucking suspected is the fucking truth where team star is 
coaching her on how to yeah. and what not to say and what to say to smear someone as a sexual assaulter. Well, but and that was found that, out in the group chats. It's, yeah, it's crazy. It's clear that Keem and Brantley set the whole thing in her mind and created the story themselves anyway. I don't think there was ever an original issue. There was no issue. She was fine she with just it. Wanted she wanted to hang out with Keemstar. They, she's like, oh, they're having threesomes with me now. I got to get in with Keem. Of course, Keem yeah. dropped this bitch immediately because she, she's oh, a yeah. slut. And he fucked her. And he fucked there's her. There's nothing too. wrong with it, but she's a slut. She no, there's really, nothing wrong with not, it. Yeah. She's not smart. She thought, oh, Keem is going to make me his number two gal. You know, Keem is going to move yeah. me in. And uh, no, Keem was just she's using you, bitch, to, to do this story. So yeah. it's tough. Well, it's, it's yeah. insane to say that's. <laughs> there's so much wrong here uh you know there's the there's the flagging there's the deplatforming um doxing your ip trying to get you arrested as a pedophile seether after seether in the chat track down track down family members to harass like, it goes on and on and on yeah yeah i mean there's almost nothing they didn't do it's like there's so much there that you almost get lost in the sauce. Like, it's like, well, I almost forgot to yeah. bring that part up. You know I, I mean? know. I know. And it's like, this would be the biggest story because, like, all those fucking losers, like, in that fucking group chat, if it was anyone else, they're making video after video after video after video covering it. And it's like, they, it's like, they ain't doing fucking shit. It's like, it's, I, dude, like, imagine, like, if it was like, like, someone that they don't like, right? Like, pick one of these people that they, it's like, imagine, like, if it was IDUPS. Right, some random person that they have a hate boner for. Right, his group message leaks, and and him and everyone from their creator class was caught doing this. We would not. We would hear about it for a decade straight, like the exact same things that they did. So you know, it's it's a it's gross. It's nasty. It's nasty. Over seven hundred live watching across all platforms here on the kill stream. Let me ask you this: Is there a way? I'm thinking the answers. No, but I'm an interview. Is there a way to make peace with Keem and these people? Do you Fuck ever no. <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> Fuck no. Fuck no. Fuck no. They fucking did like they did, they did everything to bury me, make sure I don't exist online, try to get me arrested, paint me as a fucking rapist, everything. Fuck you. I will fucking go to the fucking grave to make sure your life is fucking hell. Even if you get me deplatformed, even if you do anything. I might have fucking eight kids and seven grandkids. I'm going to make sure that I'm fucking making your miserable lives even more miserable. I swear to fucking God. Fuck you guys. There's no way to fucking make peace. No fucking way. No fucking way. No fucking way. It's like you bring it to the real life. You smear me as a rapist. You smear me as this to affect my real life. Fuck you. I'm not going to stop talking about you because you asked me to. Fuck off. Yeah, Keem better get the checkbook out. I think it's the only way to, to solve this. And even then, fuck this guy, I have to say. Uh, now, let me ask you about this. You're streaming on Kick tomorrow. I know you've been trying to stream on YouTube uh, the last several times, but, you know, Keem's got too many connects there, really, yeah, uh, yeah. for you to stream. So I don't know that that's possible. So yeah, you are going to be on Kick tomorrow night. Do you think there's going to be any issues there? Or you feel pretty safe? I mean, Keem, sir, I. So I feel pretty safe, but Keemstar warned me over the phone. He goes, if you harass, harass. Okay, so it's like defined harass. He goes, if you harass or threaten me or threaten anybody, I'm going to call my kick uh, contact up and you're going to get banned. So it's like he's already like made that threat uh, to me. So I don't know. I feel confident. Wow. Yeah. yeah, you know, I know he's got contacts here at Rumble too. Uh, and, you know, yeah. it is what it is. I'm not going to you know, uh, cut my content or, or my language and rumble's been good to us so far, but that is in the back of my head. This is the type of guy I guarantee he's watching this right now. I mean, there's zero. Oh, doubt of course he is. Of course. Hey, Kim. Oh yeah. He's watching right now. People don't, I, just, I mean, he's on the level so of petty. Angry, Keem? People can't understand. Yeah. <laughs> you I mean, gotta, you've got to calm down, Keem. Like this is too far, man. Well, that's what I said at the start of all this. They already did a number on you. Uh, and it was already, you know, they, they fucked you over pretty hard and had this spin yeah. out there and, you know, everybody was trying to take you down. Now we didn't participate cause I always liked you and I thought it was bullshit anyway. Um, but they did a number on you and it's like, okay, yeah. can't you just be happy with that? Right? Like you, 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 you got one over on the guy at a big way but it just wasn't enough uh, isn't enough enough Keem. like you've been caught now your hands in the cookie jar everybody can see you for like this fucking this spiteful bastard that you are you can't even play the nice guy on this one just hang it up bro it's time and to it's let only it go, getting Keem. worse it's only getting worse so like uh, like another part of that group chat was them Keem, uh like like leaking contracts from the creator class that. yeah um that's and a big deal. 
and Harley Mornstein from Epic Playtime is now getting involved. He just quote tweeted uh, Gunch News Network uh, <laughs> talking about it too to his 300,000 uh, uh, followers on Twitter. Um, so only going to get more ugly. Well, it's funny because a lot of these people I don't like uh, are coming together on this. <laughs> Uh, and you know, uh, I think it has been a little bit of a unifier, uh, because it's just a, a feeding frenzy on all this and people, I don't know if people understand, but Keem's, you know, involved in boxing, promoting and all this stuff, leaking rival contracts, uh, Worski, who I don't like at all, um, still, you know, leaking his medical details <laughs> yeah. in, a, in a private that's fucked, group man. chat, that's fucked up. And if you're another yeah. fighter or you're in that business, that's something you just don't do. Like, I, I don't know if people, I've been a long time student of boxing. I couldn't imagine a promoter getting caught in a private chat, leaking the medical details of, of a fighter that, that didn't well, end that up can, being able to yeah. fight. That could fuck Andy over if somebody finds out that he's got like a major medical problem on an MRI. They won't hire him to well, do sure. anything. Sure, and again, no love lost with Worski, but that's fucked up. That's fucked. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what to say. Like, that's a really fucked up thing to do. It could cost him future opportunities with boxing, but just in general. I mean, having think your about medical... like if Dana White was caught doing that. Well, they'd be calling for him to be fired. That's what I'm saying. Of course. Like, he, would he would lose the league. Yeah, he would lose yes. the fucking league almost. Yeah. And, and they almost yeah. wouldn't have a choice even if they wanted to keep him on. It would be like, well, fuck, he's revealing private medical information. That's just something you don't do. And again, we laughed yeah. at Worski and I made fun of it, but that being said, it's it's fucked up. It's just it's just one out of like a thousand different fucked up things in this group chat. By the way, Kaiser with a 50 spot, very kind uh, in the Rumble Rants, and he says, time to just pour... Time to deport Keemstar David to Israel. He said, send him to the front. Well, yeah, I heard they got an operation going on over there. They could they could maybe use all hands on deck uh, as far as that goes. And thank you very kindly uh, for that 50 spot. Now, uh, I, I know you got something else coming up at the bottom of the hour, so I want to I try to get through uh, anything that we haven't gotten through. I think it's been very sure. solid, if I do say so myself. Uh, but, Perspicacity, what did you want to touch on maybe that, that we haven't hit on? If anybody has any questions in the chat, uh, uh, drop you those. You want to ask? You want to tell the story? Can we go into how I made Xylee cry and apologize to you? I hate that oh. bitch. I hate her so can much. Can we go into that? We can you talk about what? something I did. I hate her so much because she's so terrible and she shouldn't be <laughs> yeah. around here. I was anyway. very proud of this when you told me about it. I was okay, very proud. Tell us because I want to hear it too. Dude, dude. It's like you caused Keemstar to like yell at her. I like, know. Like I caused it to have a her. Am yeah. I mentioned in the logs or no? They no. Just, he's just screaming You're mentioned. that you fucked up. Yeah, no, like you're not you're not mentioned, but Keemstar is yelling, uh, "Why'd you fucking like?" You know, it's he like pissed. he kept tagging fucking, me on Twitter. Like, He's like, "Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. You son of a yeah, bitch!" Yeah, you know, like, oh, yeah, that was like a big deal. That was a big deal. Keemstar was like, "Savo's right about you guys." I'm like, "Okay," it's like that caused an issue. You made that bitch cry. Yeah. So should we set the stage for this? So Zylie does a show a uh, month after. She's trying to salvage for Keem. Okay. So she's saying she has this. She had this private conversation with this Babs girl. And the Babs girl told her all about it. it was a sexual assault and she's afraid to go to the police and all this stuff. Xylee's putting this out there as fact. Like this conversation really, of course this conversation didn't even happen. It's all made up. And she's inviting in Keemstar and Diorio, mm -hmm. Paige Christie, all these people are coming in and they're all talking about Salvo, how he's a creep, how he's a sex pest, that she should file a police report. Clearly all scripted. So yeah. I immediately called them out. I'm like, here's the clip. This bitch has now privated the stream. They're setting this up. This is all a script. They're having Nick come in at the end to try to sweep it up. All of it. It was all true, by the way. It's all confirmed in the logs that all of this stuff actually did happen. Everything yeah. I described yeah. happened to a T. Yeah. So Keem, after the show, is screaming at Xylee. Oh, I'll let you tell the story, Salva. This is your story to tell. Go ahead. Um, so, like, you know, she spends two hours, like, you know, like uh, you said, painting me as like a rapist, right? Um, yeah. She won't let me on. She's kicking everybody off who like disagrees with her. From yeah, the she panel. banned me from her Discord. She banned me from her chat. She wouldn't let me call back in. Yeah. And then Keemstar comes on. Did you see the parts where Keemstar comes on, right? Yes. And it's like completely fine with what like Zali was like saying, right? Completely fine. Oh, with yeah. It. So he was co signing it 100%. Yeah. You know, and then he ends the stream and it's like, she was getting shit, but she was only getting shit because me and like literally you were like trying to spearhead this, like, 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 like get out to as many people 
Like, yeah, what actually just happened? Yeah, making up rape allegations yes. in a script. I mean, it was disgusting, and it was so obvious to, like, anybody who's not brain dead exactly what's going on. It was yes. despicable. Right, right. And it's like she, uh, she privated it, right? Yes. And it's like, to me, that was like an issue, right? Because it's like everybody already knows what the fuck happened. You can't just private the stream and then just wipe your hands clear with it without people showing people how fucking scripted and made up it was. So it's like we had an issue that she privated it, right? So it's like we were just like trying to like make that bitch like unprivated it. Yes. And then Keemstar had an issue with because like other – uh, this guy uh, called Dead on Dave, who's like a literal nobody, I call him Dead Chat on Dave, made like an <laughs> apology for Keemstar, and that sent Keemstar, or I made an apology for Xylee, and that sent fucking Keemstar over the fucking moon, right? He's like, why is this fucking idiot saying that, like, you did anything wrong? This fucking blow, you know, this fucking, this will destroy our fucking thing and stuff. So, like, again, it's it's it seems like every sort of contention that, like, we had with these people... We're kind of vindicated seeing that, like, what we had, what we had a problem with behind the scenes was all orchestrated, like fucking, like mess. And that Zyli stream again, dude, it was, it was disgusting. It was disgusting, you know. And it was like they're all fine with, you know, they're all fine with her after that. Uh, people were fine with her now. Right, and it's like yeah. this bitch, this bitch went on a live stream with no proof. Said she had more proof. It turned out she lied about that. Of course, you know, and just and just smearing me as a fucking rapist. And then meanwhile. Months later in the group chat, you know, it's 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 all some organized fucking bullshit. So, it, you know, it, the lengths they fucking went is crazy. Well, did she call you crying, apologizing after that? Yes. Day? Oh, my gosh. Yeah. So, like, after that stream, she calls me apologizing, you know, you know, and, like, I'm, like, letting her have it. And I say, the only thing I want, bitch, is now for you to apologize publicly. Right. Okay, because like you just did this fucking stream, you apologized to me privately, apologized to me publicly, and she never did. And she never did. So it's like she never took like she never said sorry. She never took like accountability for like her calling me a rapist. And then like one of the big like issues she has with me is that I made up a fake story that she had sex with Chris Benark. That's like her biggest gripe with me is that last <laughs> year I made up a story that she had sex with Chris Benark. Like, that's why she doesn't like me. But Nobody like, believes you know, anybody had sex with you, bitch. No one! You look Nobody, like 100 like, years old. Bitch. Nobody's having sex with you, bitch. Nobody believes that. Even Crazy. if Sabo told it in a Her most husband won't even way. have sex with her, much less some rando. Like, are <laughs> yeah. you kidding me? Her uh, husband's and... big, telling her to call the ambulance. She's taking her clothes off. And he goes, sweetheart, you got to call the ambulance. I got to go to the hospital. He pulls <laughs> a Fred Sanford like I'm Sanford. Sorry. I'm having a heart attack. I'm having the big one. Um, so... You know, I hear this stuff, and it's like this is borderline criminal uh, behavior. I think so. And it's for borderline. sure. It's well, not even borderline anymore. I mean, look, I'm, I'm hedging borderline. my words here, but yeah, it is borderline criminal, and it's definitely you know, people sitting in group chats making up um, stories and scripts to to slander somebody as a rapist. Like, it doesn't really get dirtier than that, other than you know, uh, trying to coach the girl directly. Like I. I don't know, man. Have we ever Crazy. seen anything quite this dirty? And I've been around for a while, and I've been involved in some dirty shit myself, but I don't know that we've seen anything quite on this level, Savo. And it's like, I'm a YouTuber. I, w I was a YouTuber with, like, 9,000 subscribers. You know what I mean? It's like, I, 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 like I'm a nobody. <laughs> well, it's Crazy. Well, you would think you had nine million. <laughs> with, the, with the way that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. It's like you know, it's like the fucking Democrats trying to you know do whatever they can to not have Trump run. You know what I mean? It's like, like I'm just several pancakes, guys. Chill. <laughs> just chill, Keemstar. Now let me ask you this here. I, I think we pretty much hit everything. If anybody has any questions, pile those in here at the end. But let me ask you if there's anything we haven't touched on or anything you want to say directly uh, to some of these people. And uh, maybe you you'll let Zylie keep her her trailer and everything. Maybe you won't. Uh, file the lawsuit probably not worth it anyway with her but uh wh anything we left out or anything you want to say directly to these people i don't know i think that we covered like everything um i guess like i'll just plug my stream tomorrow it's gonna be sure. like a very fun stream uh, there is like more stuff that we haven't leaked yet uh that we're saving for sunday um you know kick.com slash several pancakes probably around eight central time uh, some big bombs dropping on the stream and then you know uh, you know, going to go over all their fucking cope and all their fucking lies. And I'm excited, man. I like all fucking year. It's like, I just like wanted to feel like excited to like stream. 
you know, and it's like, I'm excited to stream tomorrow. So like, it should be like a lot of fun. Um, you're the best dude. Uh, you guys do a great show. One of the best shows of the year today. Uh, you're great. I appreciate it. After this, um, like, I don't want to cook your uh, show, but I am going on sure. manic of uh, the mechanic. Uh, follow me, several pancakes, uh, stream tomorrow. Thank you, buddies. Thank you, man. It was excellent. And I really appreciate you. having you here. Nice Salvo Pancakes, you, the legend. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Back. Thank you, man. appreciate it. Bye. Bye-bye. There we go. Round of applause. I was very proud of that segment, I have to say.